Hey guys, welcome back to L&D Home and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are gonna be tackling this beauty room. This is an extra room that we have that I use to get ready and store all of my millions of clothes and things. And it has definitely seen better days. We had to cut a slit to make this mirror that we got for free fit so it didn't fall. Things are just looking a little bit of a hot mess. It definitely needs a refresh. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a room makeover room refresh for under $100, and it looks so much better in the end. So let's go ahead and get right on started because we have a lot of work we need to do. I wanted to start out doing a painting project. I did buy a tree <laughs> that I will show you later in this video. I will tell you how much it costs when we get to that point. But I had this old pot that my mom had actually given me in the garage to use for outside, and I decided to use it um, for the room makeover. So it was completely free, and I am just slapping on a good coat of black chalk paint. I did not love the pot that it came in, and this one is much bigger, so I think it's going to make the tree look much more expensive having a bigger pot to have it sit in. Um, I did also try a different technique I've never tried before, using baking soda to kind of give it that like age concrete kind of look. I have seen a lot of people do this, and I don't know if I just didn't do it right, but it definitely did not really turn out how I expected. You're going to see later in the video, I come back and I kind of fix it up a little bit. So if you have any tips and you have tried this like DIY technique with this baking soda, let me know like what I am doing wrong, any tips and tricks, because I think it looks really great when other people do it. Not so much when I tried it. Next step is to get these donation clothes out of the middle of the room and just move some things out of my way because we are going to be moving the furniture around a little bit. And I will talk about why and how that's going to help the room in just a moment. Come a little closer. I want to dance with you. Everything's moving slower. I don't know what it is you do. I've been looking at you all night trying to figure you out. Wanna make you smile Hold your hand in my hand Looking at the sunset Man, you're looking good tonight I wanna kiss you Before the sun goes down It's what you do I bought this new product a while ago. It's called a fill stick. I got it off of Amazon. It will be linked down below. And I wanted to try it. I've seen a lot of other people use it. However, I do think it's really meant for baseboards and trim. It had a really hard time going on the wall. It was really hard to get out. And I think the whole point is to use it on your white baseboards and white trim so you don't really have to like paint over it because it's white and it blends in. So I probably should have just used my pink putty, you know, that's pink when it's wet and turns white when it's ready to be sanded and painted over. But I really wanted to try this product out. I would not recommend it for walls, but I will be trying it in a future video at some point on the trim because we do need some touch-ups there as well. I am going to be taking this dresser and pushing it to the other side of the room, swapping it with the vanity. So I'm basically just swapping these two pieces of furniture. This is a really great tip if you're on a really cheap budget or if you're even on a zero dollar budget. You do not have to always buy things to change up the style in your room or change up how things are laid out. You can take all the existing furniture and even existing decor from that room or even pull in things from other rooms that you already have and completely make a refresh and a change in a space without spending one single penny. So this is something I highly recommend if you're just getting kind of tired of the way a room is looking or it's not functioning for you, try just switching some furniture or decor pieces around and give it a little bit of pizzazz that way and it does not break the bank. You won't change, I only want you. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you do.
My first of two hiccups with this room refresh was the paint. So you see me looking at the can, checking to see if it's the right color. And I was like, yeah, repo's gray. I don't know why I'm tripping. It's the right color. It's not. We painted this room in our master bedroom mindful gray, which is a little bit darker. And I didn't think it was going on right. And then I checked the can and my brain was just telling me, yeah, it's fine. Because I only had one day to get this room makeover done. So um, I used the wrong color. I am going to fix that off camera. <laughs> I didn't think you wanted to see me do any more painting, but one technique I like to use is feathering it out and then taking the brush and actually stippling because we have textured walls and that textured spray stuff is stupid expensive. So I did not want to spend any more money. I wanted this to be under a hundred bucks and I did not want to go over the budget that I was looking to have. I decided it was best not to use girl math on this part. So I am just measuring to make sure the vanity is going to be in the middle of this wall so everything looks centered. This is going to be the wall that you see right when you walk in the door or open the door. So I want to make sure everything looks really nice on this side. It's the first thing that you're going to see. Also, if you are stressed out thinking that you want to do a room makeover, but you do not have the time, money, energy, whatever, to get new furniture or paint it, it's okay. Um, these pieces are not going to be permanent. I've had all of these pieces for a very, very long time, and I do not plan on keeping them for a very, very long time. But right now, I'm just trying to change it up. I know that the vanity is not perfect. There has those notches in it from the old mirror. It's a little bit, it's seen better days. It is peeling and all kinds of stuff, but I'm not tackling that today. I am just tackling switching around the room and getting it to look a little bit better. And eventually we will get some new furniture pieces and things like that, but today is just not the day. So just remember, you can only do what you can do. And just because you can't afford to buy a new dresser and a new vanity and a bunch of new stuff or paint everything does not mean that you can't have a room that you absolutely love. Baby steps and little bits at a time. Another tip that I hear a lot is to completely clear out a space. And while I do love doing that if I can, I don't always have the space to clear out a whole room. Like you got to put that stuff somewhere. So I am moving these drawers. I think I moved them three or four times because they were in my way. So sometimes you just got to do what you can in a room and that's perfectly okay. It all worked out in the end and I didn't have to clutter up another space. This dresser is also something that is not going to stay permanent. A drawer slide is missing. A drawer slide is broke. It's fallen apart. One of the legs is held on by a screw that's barely in there, but we are just really making it work for now until we can afford to upgrade these pieces. So again, do not feel bad if your pieces are not perfect or they're not fancy Instagram, TikTok, YouTube worthy like you see some people do. You, you got what you got and you have the budget that you have and you can still have a beautiful home even if it's not perfectly curated like on an Instagram post. For so long I've been trying to get you out of my head Oh yeah But somehow I always seem to
When you're in a pinch or you forgot to bring your hammer up, you can use a high-heeled shoe. I've been doing this for years. No, it's probably not the best idea, but it does work. I'm telling you, it absolutely does. <laughs> I'm also going to be adding some new shelving over here. So this is something that I purchased for this room. I will have it linked down below, and I really, really like these shelves. I did a makeover for my son's room um, over the summer. I will link that in the cards and down below that video. It was awesome. It turned out really cool. And we had bought some shelves, and those were really nice quality. These, even better. So if you're going to buy a pack of shelves, I highly recommend these. They were on sale when I purchased them. It was a pack of five and Amazon was running a sale. I don't know if that sale will still be going on when this video goes up, but I liked how it had the little spots where you put the screws for the brackets. Another thing that I liked was that you could put the brackets either way. You can put them the way that you're going to see I'm going to do it here, or you can put them underneath the shelf. Whichever look you like, you can even do a mix of both. I'm only going to be using four shelves here, and I am making sure that I use my level so nothing looks wonky, and I just magic erasered those pencil lines off later um, after I had everything said to go. But um, I am going to use that fifth shelf actually over on the vanity as like a little tray until I find a spot for it. I decided not to bore you with the process of putting up all four shelves, but they are up and now I'm just going to wipe everything down because there was drywall pieces all over the place. And I'm just going to be styling these shelves a little bit with items that I actually already had on the other shelves. The shelves that you saw originally um, in the first part of the video where the room was set up and where we started were actually from Dollar Tree. So I'm just using some of those same things that I had on my dresser and on my shelves and I'm going to be adding a few extra things as well. And everything that I'm putting on the dresser and the shelves are things that I already had. I did not purchase anything new besides the shelves themselves. I think that we need a guiding line. As you can see, the paint is drying. I did the touch up and everything. The lighting in this room is so bad, guys. I'm so sorry. It's always this terrible. But I purchased this mirror and the plant you're going to see later from Gabe's. Let me know in the comments if you guys have a Gabe's. We just got one, like just got a Gabe's recently. Went there for the first time and it was awesome sauce. So I got this mirror for 30 bucks, which I thought was a really good price because it was from originally Old Time Pottery. And I remember when I used to shop there and their mirrors were not $30. Like I bought one one time for like 80 or 90 bucks um, back in the day. So I thought $30 for this mirror was a good price and I really liked the look of it. So I do wanna make sure that I have the holes where I need them. So I'm just using some painter's tape. I am going to mark where the little hangy things are. <laughs> I have no brain today. Um, and this is where I made the mistake. Is I thought, well, I don't want it to be like touching the vanity. That's going to look weird. So I, I measured so far up. 
I don't know what I was thinking. Like I have, I'm used to that big mirror that has no edges and it was huge. And I don't know what I was thinking, but you're going to see my second mistake coming up very soon in this video that I hung the mirror completely, completely off. Right now we're running around in circles, but if you don't even want to try, I need to know it. Can we just open up? Cause I got to know if you feel the things I do. This is round about the moment when I pull up my chair and sit down and realize I can only see the top of my face. <laughs> that is me looking at myself in my closet mirrors like, Lene, are you kidding? You knew better than this. So I had to take the whole thing down. I actually had to take the whole thing down twice because I moved it down to where it should have been and then realized it wasn't level. So I put so many holes in the wall, guys. It's ridiculous. I did try to fill it with some putty stuff that I had, which I probably should have mixed up first because it was kind of like gross and watery, but I was just so tired at this point. So all that to just say like mistakes are going to happen. Mishaps are going to happen. Unexpected things are going to happen when you're doing any project in your house and just don't beat yourself up. Just roll right through it, you know, switch gears, fix it if you can, and everything will all turn out in the end, even if you have to put in a little extra effort because you were silly the first time. But it's just bound to happen. Every time I've done a project, there has been some hiccup, either big or small, and we've always gotten through it. So don't get discouraged and don't get nervous thinking that you're going to make a mistake. You probably will. You most definitely probably will make a mistake, but that's okay. We learn from our mistakes. That is how we grow. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. While I was waiting on the putty to dry so I could paint over those spots, I went to dust off all of that baking soda. And this is where I realized, yeah, I don't like this at all. I did something wrong. Maybe it gave the effect it was supposed to give, but it wasn't really what I was looking for. I was really looking for texture and like maybe a little bit of discoloration, but not this much. So I rubbed it in as much as I could. And then I just kind of spot treated it, if we could say that, with some of the chalk paint, just kind of brushing over um, lightly and also painting the top, which I hadn't done yet. I did not go all the way in the inside because there's going to be a plant in here. No one's going to see. But I just kind of went over and brushed over that baking soda a little bit. So I still had the texture, but I still had that black color that I was looking for. So much better. And now for what is ridiculously my favorite part of this room refresh is this tree. I have actually been looking for a tree, a really, really tall one to put in this corner for probably like a year now. And they are dumb expensive if you have ever searched for one. So ridiculously expensive. This was, I think, $27 at Gabe's. And this was also from Old Time Pottery. I am not really sure how Gabe's gets their products. They have stuff from like all over the place. If you have a Gabe's and you know anything about it, let me know in the comments down below. It kind of seemed like it was like a Marshall's mixed with like another store. I'm not really sure. But for 27 bucks, I definitely had to snatch this bad boy up. And I absolutely love it. I did decide to do some decoration on the other side. I've actually had this kind of tray plate thing for quite a while. Um, I just added a hanger on the back 
And I also have some placemats. Yes, I'm going to be nailing some placemats. This is just me thinking. <laughs> I'm going to be nailing some placemats on the wall. I got these placemats from Ikea like a long time ago to do a wall design like this. And I just could not figure out what room I wanted them in, how I wanted to kind of put them up. And I finally decided that this was the perfect little spot to balance out that really tall tree on the other side. If I can still find these placemats at Ikea, I will have them linked down below. Oh, and I got the little bowl plate thing from Goodwill, like a really long time ago. Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty. Honey, let's just face it. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Let's remind ourselves what this room looked like when we started out. Now, besides the fact that it was a hot mess and I needed to organize and clean a little bit, it just wasn't looking really decorated or curated. It was just looking very thrown together. And that is the vibe that I really wanted to change was that I just threw stuff in a room and didn't really decorate much kind of vibe or decorated kind of cheaply. And you're going to see in the reveal that I think personally it looks so much better. Let me know when I show the final reveal what your thoughts are. Hit me up in the comments down below and let me know what you think. And remember that we did this all under $100. Pretty much everything I used in this room I already had. The only items I purchased were the shelves, the tree, and the mirror. Everything else was already in this space. And just by reutilizing it and switching things up a bit, it completely changed the vibe. And I am absolutely loving the new setup in this room, getting ready every day. It just, it feels so different coming in here and it almost feels like a new house or just a new space. I'm absolutely loving it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful or at least entertaining with all of my mishaps. Make sure you check out the video and the playlist that will be popping up here on the screen soon. And as always, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Baby, let your head down.